Good morning everyone, welcome back to Viking Valley Farm. I'm out here, I've got a load of manure behind me, and if you guys remember, a couple videos ago I was talking about how abnormal the weather is this winter. It's the last day of February, I believe, and there's some snow on the ground. And it is currently 15 degrees outside. Felt like it was below zero this morning when we woke up. It snowed late a few nights ago. It was very cold and windy yesterday. And as you can see, the tractor's a little dirty from the sloppy roads, but it's supposed to get to be 45 today, so big, big change. The tractor I've got here is our 7220. Case I age, sorry about the dirty windows, but we're gonna get that in the winter. And our Coon Knight SL, I believe, 118. Got the wind blowing to the south, southwest, so I'm gonna try and have this go behind me here. sun's shining looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day so I'm up here now at the heifer barn and some of these calves we weaned a few weeks ago some of the lighter colored ones here these three to the left are older but this calf this calf you're older, but you were born small, the darker one, this Glenwood. And then these four to the right here are all seem to be doing pretty good. A few months after weaning, seem to get acclimated well. While I'm up here, might as well feed them. They've already had their grain for the morning, it looks like and I might as well throw some hay in front of them. There you have it, they're 
all eating away. Listen to them chewing. Pretty neat. Every single heifer down the line in this whole barn is all eating at once. It's later in the morning now, and I'm about to AI a couple cows, which means artificial inseminate, not uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, I learned how to do this in November, so as you guys watch me do this, maybe you'll see these calves in nine months. If I don't get them pregnant, you won't. There was Sanji. I've got one more to do. It's this cow here laying down.
can tell I tried AI in this cow laying down, it didn't work so well. So if any of you have ever AI'd cows laying down, give me some tips to make sure she doesn't get up. But I still think I got through. We'll, we'll see here in three weeks if she repeats and then we'll preg check her if she does not and hopefully she's pregnant. While I was out AI'ing cows, my uncle loaded up the manure spreader for me again out of the barnyard and I'm hauling another load of manure and it is about four and a half, five hours after I hauled out the first load this morning and it's already 30 degrees warmer. A lot less snow out in the field. That's melting pretty good. And yeah, everything I've shown you guys so far in this video are very, very essential jobs that gotta be done on a dairy farm. There's always gonna be manure. Uh, there's always gonna be cattle to feed. And if you wanna keep making milk, you gotta, you gotta get cows pregnant and have a calf. So, very, very essential things that gotta be done every day. Granted, we feed every day, we have to. There's always gonna be manure, doesn't mean it has to be hauled that day. And depending on when cattle come into heat, you just gotta breed them when they come into heat. A few months after, after they calve in, you can start breeding them again, so yeah. And my wind pattern has already changed since earlier this morning, so the wind is blowing from the south. So I'm gonna drive east since the slinger discharge there is on the left of the spreader. I'm gonna get lined up here. fluid for our, our tractors and coolant or antifreeze um, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video um, as you can tell my face looks a little wind burn it's very windy today um, say what you want about deaf I'll keep my opinion to myself but gotta gotta have it with newer tractors unless unless you're loaded and you're gonna buy the brand new John Deere 9RX 830, but do what you gotta do. But I appreciate you all for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am very close to a thousand subscribers, so you guys can get me to that point. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I look forward to making more videos and pushing out content for all of you to watch. Uh, let me know what you thought about this video. Thanks. Bye.